Shabbat Shalom once again. Please make sure to pick up the gold prayer books in the back and your service handout and the sheet of paper, all of which are on tables in the back. And we are going to start in your handout with words of Psalms, Shir Chadash, as we all sing a new song to bring in Shabbat. Shiru Adonai Kol Haaretz Shiru Adonai Shir Hadash Shiru Adonai I will sing unto God a new song. Sing unto God and we'll all sing along. All the earth a new song unto God. She song I will sing unto God a new song sing unto God and we'll all sing along of the earth a new song unto God she Shabbat Shalom. We are so glad that you are here with us this evening, whether you are streaming us online or joining us here in person. This is a time of year, of course, where we acknowledge newness and we acknowledge change as we prepare for our new year of 5783, which starts in just a few days next weekend. And tonight we're also honoring change within our community as we officially install our board of trustees as leaders of our community. They've been working hard all summer. Uh, we have been meeting, we've been accomplishing a lot and tonight is the formal recognition of their leadership and their willingness to support our congregation. So we'll get to that in just a few moments. We'll begin our service on page seven with a reading, A Time for Turning. To everything there is a season and a time to every purpose under heaven. We read together, now is the time for turning. The leaves are beginning to turn from green to red and orange. The birds are beginning to turn and are heading once more toward the south. The animals are beginning to turn to storing their food for the winter. For leaves, birds, and animals, turning comes instinctively. But for us, turning does not come so easily. It takes an act of will for us to make a turn. It means breaking with old habits. It means admitting that we have been wrong and this is never easy. It means losing face. It means starting all over again and this is always painful. It means saying, I am sorry. It means recognizing that we have the ability to change. These things are terribly hard to do, but unless we turn, we will be trapped forever in yesterday's ways. God, help us to turn from callousness to sensitivity, from hostility to love, from pettiness to purpose, from envy to contentment, 
from carelessness to discipline, from fear to faith. Turn us around and bring us back toward you. Revive our lives as at the beginning and turn us toward each other, for in isolation there is no life. We continue on page eight, and before we sing Psalm 27, I wanna direct our attention to the bottom of the page, which explains why this text is important to us at this time of year. Traditionally, the psalm is read every day of Elul. Its verses reflect a range of human emotion and a wavering sense of faith appropriate to these days of spiritual struggle. The speaker's confident serenity is disrupted by an anxious awareness of surrounding threats. Not certainty, but quest is the dominant mood, the search for light, peace, and strength in tumultuous times. The last verse, wait for Adonai, suggests the value of repeated recitation of the psalm. Courage and inner peace come with patience, discipline, and development of a spiritual practice. We continue at the top of the page. Adonai orivishi mihimira Adonai maos chayai mihimira Adonai ori vishi mi mi ra Adonai ma os mi mi afra Achat shalti meit Adonai ota avakesh Achat shalti meit Adonai ota avakesh Shivti beveit Adonai Adonai, <laughs> O Tavakesh, Achat Shati Meit Adonai, O Tavakesh, Shivti Beveit Adonai, Koyem Lachazot ben Noam ben Noam Adonai, who live a Part of change and turning forward is acknowledging where we have been on the journey. And in order to honor leaders who have served us and given their time and energy in the past, it's my pleasure to invite up Dan Weinstock and Sarah Bloom, who are representing our outgoing board members, who along with Dan and Sarah are Nicole Brown, Cheryl Kovitz, and Ken Horn. We're on page 11. <laughs> In the, in the beginning, beginning emptiness and chaos, a great, great darkness, darkness over, over the deep. deep. The Spirit of God moved over the waters, explosion of light, the long chain of emerging life. Behold, it was very good. These candles evoked the very first light. Out of the darkness came reason, purpose, consciousness of beauty, the power to discern and to do what is right. Let us hold the light in our hearts. Let us bring it with us into the darkest corners of creation. Where there is pain and fear, let us offer the light of love.
Thank you, Sarah and Dan. We continue at the very bottom of page 21, which shares a note with us about our prayer, Shalom Alechem. The traditional Shabbat song, Shalom Alechem, is based on a Talmudic passage, which says that two angels, one good and one bad, escort us home from synagogue on Friday night. If our home is prepared for Shabbat, the good angel utters a blessing. May it be so next week. But if nothing has been done to prepare for Shabbat, the bad angel utters the same words. May it be so next week. Celebrating one Shabbat thus creates momentum for the next. A Hasidic teaching interprets the two angels as two aspects of human personality, both necessary if we are to achieve shlemut, wholeness. Thus, the, the phrase Shabbat Shalom, literally a Sabbath of wholeness and harmony, conveys the hope for a balance of chesed, kindness, and givurah, firmness. We join together to welcome the angels of Shabbat on page 20. Shalom Aleichem, Malachay HaShalet, Malachay HaYon. Mimelech, Malachay HaMlachim, HaKadosh Baruch Hu. Bochem Shalom, Malachay HaShalom, Malachay Akadosh Baruch Hu Bachuni L'Shalom Malachi HaShalom Malachi HaElyon Mihim Melech Malachi Amlachim Akadosh Baruch Hu Zedchem L'Shalom Malachi HaShalom we continue now with our ritual, our service, our blessing to install our incoming Board of Trustees and Executive Committee. So that is what is on this sheet. If you didn't pick one up, you can grab one in the back or turn to a neighbor who I'm sure is very happy to share with you. Holy One of Blessing, bestow your blessing on our leaders who have been elected to serve our congregation. Instill in them insight and understanding, perseverance as well as patience. Inspire them to work together in pursuit of our community's greatest aspirations, even as they watch over its daily needs. O oh God, we are thankful for the dedication and giving spirit that bring these men and women before you, prepared to devote their energies to your service and to the benefit of us all. Grant success to their endeavors and help them to lead us in the pursuit of our sacred mission. I'm going to read aloud now the names of our executive committee and board of trustees. Some are unable to attend tonight, but when you hear your name, please come on up and join me at the ark, and I invite us all to rise as we open the ark.
First, our executive committee, President Miriam Greenhut, Vice Presidents Matthew Edelman, Michael Kaur, Edie Porter, Jonathan Richmond, Treasurer James Lawson, Recording Secretary Gabby Young, our Sisterhood President Ann Stone, and our Brotherhood Co-Presidents Oleg Fortune and Bob Weston. And our trustees, Lonnie Derby, Ron Elinoff, our past president representative, Leanna Rothstein Hood, David Kaufman, our immediate past president, Sherry Kaufman, Stephanie Levine, Adam Marco, you can come around. <laughs> Great. Mike Miller, Paul Novak, Brian Pargman, Kevin Rout, Rachel Sandler, Kathy Winterfield, Kendall Sisiski Valier. Come on over. You can get closer, it's okay. Yeah, okay. Congregation, your part is coming up in a moment. You all don't have to do anything for once. Just uh, stand and listen. <laughs> God spoke to Moses saying, from every person who is moved by the generosity of the heart, accept gifts for me. Tonight, we celebrate this legacy of generous hearts, those moved to build and establish sacred community. Where our ancestors gave physical gifts, today you volunteer your time and your resources to the congregation we all cherish. We acknowledge your generosity. We look to you as those who volunteer. We respect you as leaders of our people, and we offer thanks and blessing. May it be your will, Adonai, our God, and God of our ancestors, that you guide President Miriam Greenhut and our incoming board of trustees safely on their leadership journey as they engage in the sacred practices of Kahila Kedosha, building sacred community, and Tikkun Olam, repairing the world. May you lead them on your path in peace, as they act in partners with you in building a strong and meaningful Jewish community. Allow them to accomplish their goals with joy and peace and grant them the insight and the clarity to do their holy work. May their hands be an extension of yours, Adonai, and grant grace, loving kindness, and compassion to them and in the eyes of all who they encounter along the way. Blessed are you, Adonai, who watches over our sacred community and will share ancient words of blessing with you that the high priest gave to those who came into the temple to give their gifts and have carried down from generation to generation for those who show up and are present and contribute to our community. When we join together, Yivarechecha Adonai ve'yishmerecha, you nourish, nourish us, us with, with your, your care. care. May, May God, God bless, bless you and keep you. Keep you. Ya'er Adonai panav elecha vihuneka. You sustain us with your time and energy. May God's face shine upon you, and may God always be gracious to you. Yisa Adonai panav elecha v'yasem lecha shalom. You bear witness to our lives and lead us on our journey. For your dedication to our community, may God lift your hearts and grant you wholeness, fulfillment, and peace. And together we say, Amen. We remain standing for Barhu on page 26. Board, please stay up with us for Barhu, and then you can go back and have a seat.
Thank you to our board members. You can please feel free to return to your seats. And we wish you Hatzlacha, the best of luck, and Mazel Tov. As they are making their way back to their seats, we continue on page 28. Blessed are you, Adonai. Your great name fills the universe with majestic might. Your word creates twilight and dusk as your wisdom opens the gates of night. Together, your discernment separates the changing seasons and causes the passage of time. The stars arrayed across the sky reveal your design. You roll out the cycle of darkness and light, shaping day and night. You sweep away day and carry the world into nightfall, setting day apart from nighttime. You are God of all we can perceive and all that is beyond our perception. Living eternal God, be our sovereign to the end of time. Baruch Ata Adonai Hamaariv Aravim. Blessed are you, Adonai, creator of twilight and dusk. Bottom of page 31. Open up our eyes, teach us how to live. Fill our hearts with joy and all the love you have to give. Gather us in peace as you lead us to your name. And we will know that you are one. Open up our eyes. Teach us how to live. joy and all the love you have to give. Gather us in peace as you lead us to your name, and we will know that you Turn to page 35 for our Ve'ahafta for Elul and continue in responsive paragraphs. You shall love the ones who are close with all your heart, with all your spirit, with all your strength. Remember these words, inscribe them on your heart. Love them when they struggle, when they sadden and disappoint you. Love them when they fail. See the good within them, even when they can't. Look at them and listen, even when it's hard. Be grateful for their guidance, even their reproof when they save you from yourself. Love them when they give you joy, and love them when they don't. 
When you lie down, let go of anger. When you rise up at dawn, begin again. Praise them for their deeds at home. Speak to them in public with respect. Bind yourself to the ones you love with promises kept and vows fulfilled. Open to them the gates of your heart, the doorway of your soul, and let them know you. So shall the ones you cherish feel your love, your presence, and your care. Page 36. Lima antis keru, vasi tem et komit zvotai, vitem kirozhim lelo Ahani Adonai Elohechem Asher hotzei tiedchem Meyeretz mitzrayim Liot lachem Lelohim Ani Adonai Elohechem Page 41 We read together at the top. Eternal, watch over my small domain of light and shadow, those few people who share my love and all others upon this earth that sometimes shakes with thunder and reverberates with lightning. Help us to live with fear and conquer rage. Heal the hate that makes us kill and covers the ground with this Red Sea that only you can part. So may we all walk through the wilderness to your realm of peace, where all men and women are one and sing your blessed name. We continue on page 40 and in your handout with Micha Mocha. We read responsive paragraphs. 
A scarf trailing over the lilac sunset, fair weather clouds, cirrus, unicus, self chiffon, twilight softens the air, whispering, come, lie down with me. Untie the knots of the will, loosen your clenched grip, barren hills of bone. Here, no edges to hone, only the palm fallen open as a rose about to toss its petals. What you have made, what you have spoiled, let go. Let twilight empty the crowded rooms, quiet the jostling colors to hues of swirling water, pearls of fog. This, this is, is the, the time, time for letting, letting go. time go, like a the released balloon, balloon dwindling. dwindling. Tilt your neck and let your face open to the sky like a pond catching light, drinking the darkness. We continue on page 48. Before we rise in body or spirit for our Amidah, a brief reading, another beautiful intention for Elul this month of reflection. Jacob came upon the place and stopped there for the night, for the sun had set. Taking one of the stones of that place, he put it under his head and lay down in that place to sleep. And he dreamed, and behold, a ladder set up on the earth and its top reached to heaven. Jacob's dream is ours. Our bodies dwell on the earth, but our souls yearn to reach the heavens. We rise in body or spirit. Adonai sefatai tiftach ufiyakita hilatecha. Adonai open my lips that my mouth may declare your praise. Baruch atah Adonai Eloheinu velohe avotinu vimoteinu. Elohe Abraham, Elohe Yitzchak, Elohe Yaakov, Elohe Sarah, Elohe Rivka, Elohe Rachel, Elohe Leah, Ha'el Hagadol, Hagibor, Hanora, El Elyon. Gomel chasadim tovim, rekonei hakol, vezolcher chastei avot v'imahot, umevikula liv nevneihem, leman shemho meahava, melech ozer umoshiah umagen, baruch atah Adonai, Magin Abraham is Ratsara. Atagi for the Lamaronai. Mechaye ha cola tara of Lehoshia. Mori hid ha tal. Mechakel chayim bechesed. Mechaye ha cola rahamim rabim. So mech no flim profe holim, O matir asuim, O mekahayem emunato, Lishene afar, Mihamoha bal givurot, O mi do melach, Melech me me. Umechahayer, <laughs> Baruch atah Adonai, ha'il hakadosh. Please be seated. We read together in the middle of page 69.
for the gifts I receive today, air in my lungs, pulse in my veins, my restless mind alive and curious, awakening suddenly to beauty, for love and the memory of love, forgiveness when I didn't deserve it, another chance at life. Let my soul give thanks to you. Let me not forget your kindness. Page 70. Shalom Rav, al Yisrael Amcha, Tassim, Tassim, Le'olam. Shalom Rav, al Yisrael Amcha, Tassim, Tassim, of our own personal prayers. Page seventy four. Oh, say shalom, be Rama. Uya, say shalom, Alenu. Shalom, Alim. 
Shalom Aleinu Ve'akol Yisrael Ve'yimeru Amen Ose Shalom Bim Roma Uhu Yase Shalom Page 76. May the one whose blessings are many heal and bless us and all those who live in the shadow of illness. May God's care bring us comfort and courage. May God's love open our eyes to the faith and compassion around us. May the source of hope and renewal show us the way toward peace of mind, wholeness within, and strength from community. This Shabbat, our congregation is praying for Carol Babcock, Howard Sherwin, Pauline Sherwin, Anne DePaul, Susan Derby, Helene Edwards, Muriel Fields, Beverly Fruit, Rabbi Bob Goodman, Marilyn Goodman, Jesse Halpern, Mary Hartman, Kimberly Janice, Robert Kay, Gary Mass, Barry Newman, Sandy Olesker, David Osofsky, Laura Osofsky, Bert Peters, Buddy Pollock, Ron Papel, Elisa Powell, Robert Powell, Jean Posen, Sean Quinlan, Ron Rappaport, Carol Rout, Randall Rout, Sandra Resnikoff, Devora Botruchel, Michelle Jurgen Rosenthal, Adele Shamban, Sid Siegel, Ruthie Silver, Nicholas Sobeck, Judy Van Gorder, Leonard Smilowitz. If you have names to share of those you're sending healing prayers to, please say them aloud as I look around the room. David. We pray for healing. God. We pray for healing of the body, mind, and spirit with the words of Misha Barach in the middle of page 77. Misha Barach May the source of strength bless the ones be 
before us. Help us find the courage to make our lives a blessing and let us say Amen. The renewal of body, the renewal of spirit, and let us say Amen. Amen. In celebration of our board installation this evening, I'd like to invite up our temple president, Miriam Greenhut to share a few words with us. Shabbat Shalom, everybody. <laughs> I still love that. <laughs> Tonight, we celebrate the installation of our Board of Trustees who commit to a new year of leadership on behalf of our temple mission. We have completed our first two months of this fiscal year and already held three board workshops over the summer to educate ourselves and chart our priorities for the year ahead. This time last year, I introduced the idea of Samech, the Hebrew letter in the alphabet that represents the number 60, reflecting on my first 60 days as temple president. The word Samech also means to support or to lean upon. As hoped, the power of Samech was evident in so much of our temple life this past year, including our board of trustees proving what we can accomplish when we collaborate, support, and trust each other. I think of this as the Samech principle. Once again, after the first 60 days of a new fiscal year, I marvel at the power of Samech. I applaud and am honored to serve with this board of trustees who represent Samech and their commitment to guide Temple forward. This board follows in the footsteps of those who have come before us to build on their accomplishments and to prepare the way for those who will follow. Chartered in 1882, Temple is celebrating its 140th anniversary this year. I marvel at the generations of reformed Jews who committed to the Samach principle time and time again, who acted for community first, and who gave generously of their time to ensure that Temple is here for us today. Temple has been able to span 140 years because leaders showed up in every generation. The Samech principle is the key to Temple's present and its future, just as it was the foundation of our past. Samech represents community, and it is only by thinking and acting as part of the whole that we will thrive. It is now our turn to show up. Please join me in thanking this leadership team for their commitment to Temple, for their commitment to the Samech principle, for this labor of love. As Rabbi has already called everybody out, I just do, I want to make sure that we do honor our board members who have served previously our current board members and our new board members, and I hope that you will join me in thanking them this evening during ONIG. Mazel tov to our board members, new and old. The installation of this leadership team is truly a Shehachianu moment, so please join me in this blessing of celebration. Baruch atah Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam 
Shehechianu, Vikimanu, Vihigianu, Lazman Hazeh. We praise you, eternal God, sovereign of the universe, for giving us life, for sustaining us, and for enabling us to reach this season. Amen. And thank you, Miriam. Sometimes you're in the building more than I am, so it is your effort and your time and your commitment to our congregation that has also helped us to move forward, and your presidency has been wonderful so far, and I can't wait for more. We continue now with Alenu on page 78. Please rise in body or spirit. Alenu le shabeach la don hakol la teid kedul ha le oteb reishi shelo asanu ki goye ha aratzod vilo asamanu ki mishpachot ha adama shelo asam chelkenu kahem vigoharalinu. Kecho hamonam, vanachnu kolim mishtachavim umodim, vifne melech malachi hamlachim hakadosh baruchu v'nemar v'hayadonai. Lemelech al kol haaretz Bayom ha'u, bayom ha'u Iye Adonai echad Ushemo, ushemo, ushemo Please be seated. Page 85. Our thoughts turn to loved ones whom death has taken us in recent days and those who died at this season in years past. Our hearts open as well to the wider circles of loss in our community and wherever grief touches the human family. Zichronam Livracha, may their memories be a blessing now and always. We're in a period of shloshim for Daryl Joseph, Arnold Richmond, and Claudia Spivak. In this Shabbat, we observe the yard site of Jacob Baer, Sam Bort, Max Derby, Ann K. Dobby, Simon M. Esrig, Rabbi Eddie Fox, Bernard George Glossman, Saul Goffin, Kathy Harch, William Hecht, Rose Gavin Jaroslaw, Pauline Jenkins, Marvin Kay, Mary Alice Kirkwood, Jesse Nieberg, Melvin Kurland, Herman Levin, Norma Levine, Ruth Litton, Helen Malowitz, Herbert Herb Manass, Ethel Markowitz, Sandy Miller, Sonia Oxman, Ruth Schnitzer, Harry Seitlin, Frank Schein, Jacob Stearman, Thomas Sterling, Martin Sussman, Maxwell Tasman, and Rabbi Leo Eliezer Turitz. If you have a name of someone that you are thinking of this Shabbat and you would like to add that name to ours this evening, please go ahead and raise your hand now so that we may hear those names. Thank you, Pat. Thank you. For all of those whom we named aloud, and those we hold in our hearts today and always, we rise together as a community to extol God's name through the words of Kadish Yatom, the Mourner's Kaddish, page 86. 
Yitkadal vietkadash shme raba. Biyama divrach yurute viam lich malchute. Bechaye chon uv yome chon. Ufchaye de ho bait Yisrael. Baagala uvizman kari vi imru amen. Yehe shme raba mivarach le alamul al me amaya. Yit barach vish tabach viet paar viet romam viet nase. Viet hadar viet hale viet halal shme du kudshab rihu. Le ela min kol birha tave shirata. Tush beha tave neche mata. Da amiran be alma vi imru amen. Yehe shalama raba min shemaya. Vehayim alenu va al kol yisrael vi imru amen. O se shalom bim romav, hu ya se shalom alenu vel al kol Yisrael vel al kol Yoshevei Tevel veimru, amen. We are seated, and we join together towards the bottom of page eighty-seven. Those who sow. Those who sow, who sow in tears, will reap in joy, will reap in joy. Those who sow, who sow in tears, will reap, will reap in joy. Lonnie Derby, a member of our Board of Trustees, to share some announcements. Shabbat shalom. Shabbat shalom. I'm Lonnie Derby, and on behalf of our Board of Trustees, we welcome you to Congregation Ahavat Hesed. Tomorrow, Torah study will be led by Rabbi Glasser at 9 a.m., followed by Shabbat morning minion in the chapel with Rabbi Glasser and Canterbury at 10.30 a.m. The days of awe kick off tomorrow evening with Slichoch. 
We will begin our showing of Havana Gila at 7 p.m. in the Coleman, followed by an Oneg before heading to the sanctuary for our Slikot service at 9 p.m. Other temple, temple events happening this week are TIR on Sunday and Wisdom led by Dan Kosoff on Tuesday at 10.30 in the morning. Make sure to read your emails for information regarding the Days of Awe. Tikkun Olam opportunities, TIR updates, and much more. Tonight's Oneg will be in the front vestibule where we will have a special champagne toast to honor our board members. If you would like to speak with our clergy after services, we ask that you please meet them at the Oneg. We will also be handing out our Yom Kippur um, bags um, for your canned goods um, to begin kicking off the Days of Awe. Um, and Stacy and I will be handing them out in the lobby. Shabbat Shalom. Thanks, Lonnie. We continue with Kiddush and Motzi on page. Baruch Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam Borei Peri HaGafen Baruch Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam Asher Kishonu B'Mitzvotav Beratzavanu Mishabat Kosho Don't get excited. It's, it's grape just juice. Grape juice yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's the face I make, Gabby. You're welcome. <laughs> Thank you to our officers for all that you do for our community. You can definitely grab some challah. Whether or not you share with your loved ones is up to you. And as you return to your seats, we turn to page 89 and invite up Kathy Winterfield. We read responsively on page 89. Let us ascend as we, as we hear, hear the call of community, community the, the voice of return. return. Let us ascend as we feel the, the pull and power of tradition. of tradition. Let us ascend toward forgiveness and peace of mind, toward heartfelt change and acts of repair. Let us ascend to the sound of the shofar. Let us enter the gates of teshuva. Reach deep into, into the, the sanctuary, sanctuary of the heart. heart. Reach beyond to, to the, the infinite, infinite and eternal. eternal. Reach deep with, with every, every quiet breath. breath. Reach beyond, summoned, summoned by the, the ancient ringing blast of the shofar. Come on over, Kathy. You can see the shofar calls on page 91 as we join together in the blessing. Baruch Ata Adonai Shomea Trua. Blessed are you, Adonai, who hears the sounding of the shofar. Tikiya. Shvarim Trua. 
Takia. Shabbat Shalom. I'm not one of my pre-kers, thank 